How's it going, everybody? It's been like two weeks. You're all probably pissed at me, but in all honesty, I don't care because I have a life and I have been sacrificing people to demons and eating people like snakes and dancing around on one foot like I'm awesome because I know in the end none of you can compare with me. Or at least that's why I <laughs> Oh god, or at least that's why I tell myself. How's it going, Nines? Why are you so paranoid looking? I was just in the neighborhood. What about you? No. That wasn't really a yes or no question. You feeling alright, man? Huh? Oh, okay. I see how you're gonna play this game. Just because you said that, bro, I'm gonna walk into this mansion, dude. It's full of a crazy Malkavian's mind. Just think of all the fun stuff he probably has in here. He probably has, like, nuclear weapons and all that other fun stuff, which is gonna lead to us dying. But you know what? Nobody cares. So we're gonna feed on this ghoul who's going insane because, you know, the Malkavian guy fed her his blood. And that's always a fun thing, because we all know what's gonna happen next. Right. Not really. So we're gonna eye the surf in this guy, feed on this one until she dies. And then we're gonna act like we had nothing to do with it. So I did not kill this person, I swear. I have a fucking cough. Ugh, this sucks. But anyway, we're gonna feed on this guy we stunned too. Feeding and Eye of the Serpent plus feeding equal easy kill. That's basic math for you in Vampire to Masquerade terms. So anyway, now that that's done. We're just gonna run over here, realize this door is locked, because I always forget that door is locked for some reason. I believe it has something to do with the fact that, you know, there's zombies everywhere. And not really, it's actually a Malkavian using demontation, but you don't know that. You don't know that. Or he's been dealing with demons too much, and the world doesn't know that he's possessed by some giant Cthulhu-like creature, which will proceed to eat the brains and hearts and minds of every living baby on the world. <laughs> I, l I love that little laugh he does. <laughs> and then, like, he touches the light like it's the best thing ever. Break his neck, though. Ah, oh, neck breaker. That's how you win. Unless you're a noob, that is how you win. So anyway, I still have no idea, like, how this works. Like, you know. You just hit this randomly. You just hit these randomly. If you know how you really do it, just tell me. But, you know, I never learned how to do this. So, in all honesty, I just ran around tapping E on all these switches until it finally opens, you know. It's like, yeah, spam the E button. Hit these different levers until something happens. You know? Like, I don't get it. Like, I know you're supposed to, like, light them all three up on or something, but, like, come on now. They could have at least explained that to me. Except, you know, giving me some weird ass Malkavian riddle about my mind. <coughs> oh god. Being like, in a nutshell, or something crazy like that. I don't even know what the hell they're saying half the time, but I don't care! So anyway, yeah, we finally discover, you know. Oh, the door opened after we randomly hit all these buttons. You know what that means, everybody. It's time to run down the hall, back to the locked door, which is mysteriously locked for some reason. I mean, why would somebody lock a perfectly good door like that, you know? And then once you open it up, you realize why, because it's full of freaking insane crazies who are about to kill us all. So anyway, I try to melee fight this guy for a bit, thinking I'm all badass or something, and I finally say, you know what, screw this. I'm just gonna eye the serpent in him and feed on him. You know? I mean, seriously, I could have did this earlier, but I wasn't thinking, so yeah. Remember, kiddos, if you're not thinking, I have the serpents plus feeding equals death. Unless you're a communist, or you have blunt things, but <coughs> I doubt you have any of those. Sorry about coughing every so often, it's just, you know, I have this, like, little sickness going around and stuff, and it's not cool. Break their neck! Raw. So yeah, now that the deed's done, we're gonna sneak around like we're some badass snake in the grass, you know? Cause we are the followers of Set, and we are a bunch of snakes, or something like that, I don't know. So we break their neck, you know, we walk over to these guys, and then we break their neck, so we can, you know, act like we did something that's worth accomplishing, you know? And now that we feel so badass, we're just gonna run up here and, you know, like, oh, how's it going? Oh, there's a person. We're gonna break their neck, too. Yeah, break their neck. Woohoo. Neck breaker. So that now that their neck's broken, we're gonna run down the hallway, 
like we're free and happy and full of chicken nuggets. Well, actually, I wish I had chicken nuggets right now, but you know, that's a different story. I still got some leftover orange chicken in my fridge. I think I'll eat that tonight. Yeah. But anyway, as you can see, we basically fed on that person, killed him, healing our aggravated wounds because aggravation sucks. I always wondered what the hell that picture was. I think it's like a picture of his wife or something. Yeah, it's probably just a picture of his wife. We're gonna ignore whatever the hell he says too because, you know, he's a Malkavian. Why would you listen to anything a Malkavian says unless you have a death wish? I'm just saying, people. You know? Like, come on now, seriously. Like, it's just asking to get killed. Why would you listen to a guy who's cursed? Okay, but anyway. Now we're gonna go down here. Heal ourselves and then feed on this person as we're being healed by our blood heal. You know? We're also gonna spam it again while we're drinking her so we can, you know, restart the time and still get blood. So yeah, as you can see here, we're fully healed now. And yeah. Gotta run down here, open up these doors. I'll let you know, it's a green room. <laughs> See what I did there. Yeah, there's no plants here, but it's still a green room because I'm that cool. Or at least that's why I tell myself every day. Why does God love me? Not really. I'm joking. But you know, everybody likes cake. Oh, and I finally decided to pull out a fire axe here because, you know, I kind of got sick of Brawl. As you can see here, though, I'm pretty much beating the crap out of them. Gonna blood heal and feed on this guy as well. Heal ourselves up a bit. But, you know, dead bodies. I love watching people get eaten by giant chickens. In this, in this case, this giant chicken is actually a follower of Set, and it's a snake, which means it's me. Doesn't that remind you of your childhood? Because if it doesn't remind you of your childhood, there might be something insanely wrong with you. Just saying. I'm not trying to be mean, I'm just trying to point out something that you should probably get looked at, you know? So we're gonna feed on this person and blood heal. You know, like we always do. As usual. Then we're gonna feed on this person and blood heal as well. Makes it really easy. Now that we're fully healed up and full on blood, we're gonna find this magical switch above the fireplace because nobody ever expects a magical switch to be there. And then we're gonna bust these people's skulls open with an axe because, you know, they're mortals, they can't take it. Ah! So now that we successfully just murdered a few people, we're gonna kill this guy who looks like a Nosferatu wannabe. And, you know, we're gonna blood heal and feed on him. You guys wish you had my great ideas. Not really, I'm sure most of you have done this before, but you know. I like cake. Sometimes... When I sacrifice people... I'm reminded of, uh... Oh, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna talk about right now. Oh, yeah, now I remember what I was gonna say. I come up here... And I look at this pretty little sparkly lights because it reminds me of the childhood I never had and how my father never loved me. <laughs> Not really. Uh, my dad's alright. Oh. Eh. I don't know. That's kind of descriptive. But anyway. So anyway. Yeah. So, uh. We're gonna go down here, you know, into the basement, and only a Malkavian would have a bunch of fucking lightning bolts in his basement. Like, what the hell's the point of this? Is this, is this like the generator room or something? I mean, like, what the fuck? Look at this crap. I'm just gonna save here, because just in case my dumbass gets electrocuted by this stuff, but, but seriously, people, who in God's name has, like, flowing electricity in their basement, especially uncontrolled like this? It's not even going through anything. It's like, you know, oh yeah, bolts of electricity hitting the walls. Like, what the fuck? You know, so we're just gonna crouch under here, turn off this light, and yeah. 
What the fuck? <laughs> anyway, now that these lightning bolts are turned off, you know, we're free to go. This part's almost over, so I will see you guys next time.